is Kristen. I am a third grade teacher in Portland, Oregon, and welcome back. So we're doing a little day in my life today. I just got to school. It's Tuesday. It's the second day back after spring break. It was a rough day yesterday, to say the least. We're gonna figure out what I'm teaching for the day. I tried to do the unicorn heatless curls, and like, I guess they kind of worked, but I don't know. I've always had more success with the other ones, but I guess these are just more subtle, but we're gonna figure out what I'm teaching today. I have some things I wanna laminate. Why is my, my, my work battery? Do you need any ladder support? No. Before I bring this back? No, they don't have any work to hang up. <laughs> my work computer battery never stays charged over night and it's really annoying. So I need to put in a tech ticket for that because that I feel like shouldn't be happening. Um, but yeah, let's figure out what we're doing today and I'll check back in later. You might have noticed this morning that some of my nails are still on and some of them are not. When I get to that point of my manicure where it's just like not staying on and like pieces are starting to rip off, I just like start ripping off all of them. But thankfully I have a nail appointment on Saturday, so. <laughs> Now it's just gonna like bug me until they actually get all the way off. So I'm probably gonna be like picking at them all day. and like make halves and then make thirds and then we're gonna oh. like draw the number line on it be like this is the whole and then like yeah and then I found a couple there's like a vocabulary sheet uh -huh. oh, yeah <laughs> so there's like a vocabulary sheet where they're just looking at a number line and like talking oh. about what the things are a little bit and they can do it with a partner. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow for math. Like yeah. Those little I can't even remember. It's before spring break, but I will print it. It be something for a dry erase, but I don't remember what it was. Who knows what it was. <laughs> yeah. Was I can print me some though. though. We are ready for the kids. One thing I also forgot to do is we're doing an attendance challenge. That's what these little like cards are for. So the entire school is doing a challenge where if you only miss one day of school, I think it is, for all of April, you get some type of prize. That's what these are for. I forgot to start them yesterday. It's currently April 2nd, so yeah. And then I'm gonna just use stamps that my teammate gave me. Because I didn't have small enough stamps. I have those and I have these too, so. Yeah, for ELA today, we're also gonna do some summarizing with the true story of the three little pigs. We read it yesterday with Novel Effect and my kids loved it. Some of them already knew about it, but that's the plan for ELA today. And math, we're working on fractions on a number line. And I think that's about it. Oh, really quickly before the kids come in, because they're gonna come in in like a minute, this is for writing. I have just like the steps of the writing process that we have and then like each kid's number so whatever step they're on is where they will move their number to because if you saw my last YouTube video we're doing a class book with student treasures so that is what that is for. The kids are gonna come in like oh and the kids are coming in so I'll talk to you at lunch. Hello, we made it to lunch. Um, the morning was like surprisingly better than yesterday and we like actually got quite a bit done. They had an assessment for ELA and they were summarizing the true story of the three little pigs. The majority of them just like got right to work, focused and like did it. I was like pleasantly surprised. But for lunch today, 
we have a little salmon bowl. I don't know if you can see it. It is leftovers from dinner last night. It's got white rice on the bottom, salmon mixed with ponzu sauce and spicy mayo. We have some cucumber. We have some orange bell peppers and some mango salsa. So this is our lunch today. Surprising that I actually have a meal prep, but honestly, most of the time, I don't really like meal prep throughout the week. If I do, then I'm like doing real good. I don't know. But I also, ooh, I also tried this last night. We didn't do this when we originally made it, but I have some seaweed, like, what do you call them? I don't know, seaweed snacks that I make like little mini salmon bowl tacos and they are super, super good. I also have a fruit roll up because I eat like a child. <laughs> I have a chomps beef stick. I have a poppy, of course, doc pop, love this flavor. And I have some, I think they're the Hawaiian luau barbecue chips. These are really, really good if you haven't tried them. Hoping the afternoon goes according to plan. We shall see. I think I'm gonna try and hang out with my girlfriends tonight. We're gonna go have a picnic in the park. I'm gonna bring Charlie and just like enjoy the weather because it is absolutely beautiful outside and we are gonna take advantage of it because I think it's supposed to be raining later in the week, so. Yeah, I'm always looking for, I always think somebody's walking in on me. I always am looking for fun, new, healthy recipes. And I just like go on Pinterest and like find things that look good. I like just recently discovered this last night. So I just like take pretty much a little bit. This is kind of me messy, but it's okay. Oh no, I'm struggling. No is not working as well as it did last night okay so I like put some in a little seaweed wrap and I know this is not like an original idea but I forgot that you could do this so that's actually like really good I do need a napkin though I don't think I brought one oh let's just use a tissue much much better but I'm gonna enjoy my lunch relax and I will talk to you probably after school My team and I were doing some grading for the Three Little Pigs assessment that we just did today. We're summarizing. Normally we have to have that graded before our PLC on Wednesdays. So that's what we wanted to just get done. And it's 45 minutes past contract time. But sometimes we just like chat and, you know, get out of ourselves. I only have four more left to grade, so we're gonna finish grading this and then we are going to get out of here because I'm going to meet up with some friends and have a cute little picnic in the park um, after lunch. It was kind of chaotic. The morning was really, really good, but the afternoon was just kind of a mess. We're gonna finish grading and then I will talk to you in a little bit. Just finished my Alani because if I don't have this, I hope he absolutely did. He was trying to get a cup of sugar and sneezed Let's destroy the house. He didn't destroy the brick house. Finally, he got arrested. This paper also doesn't have a name, but do you guys ever do that too, where you're just like process up elimination and you know which kid it is, even though you just have like a few papers without names or just one paper without a name, but even with just like looking at the writing, I can tell which kid it is. It's that point in the year where I'm just like, I know which kid this is just by the writing. Wolf was making a cake for his granny and he ran out of sugar. 
Then he wanted a cup of sugar and asked, oh gosh, do any of your kids ever just like write something and then just like rewrite over it? <laughs> that i'm exhausted right now but we are gonna get out of here very very soon it's way later than i wanted to stay my room is still a complete disaster and mess i really wanted to set up the writing process stuff for our class book and get all their numbers up there because it was kind of chaos all over the place today but i just need to get it done but we did get our sorry there's stuff everywhere we did get our spring handwriting book in. It's super cute. I just got these handwriting pages off of TPT. I bought like a pack of handwriting stuff. I think it was like less than ten dollars. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it has like basically like handwriting for older kids. We were gonna try to do a handwriting book every single month, but noticed that like month was too soon for all the handwriting. But we basically use this for like an early finisher, or at least for my writing time. If we don't have like a specific project we're working on, like the class book, then I will give them either the choice of like a writing prompt menu for the month or they can just work on their handwriting. We also have a district print shop. We send stuff digitally to them and they like print it and do it all for us and it's amazing. And I really need to like take more advantage of it because it's super, super nice. So I'm gonna just label these real quick then hopefully be out of here. done and we have two extras in case I get a new student or something like that. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Oh, I'm struggling. It's fine. I think I'm just going to quickly cut out these um, writing process things and then I can just like stick the kids numbers on there tomorrow and hopefully that will give us a little bit of a head start. I think having it up there, the kids would like, oh, what, like, can I put my number on there? And maybe they'll see it and be really excited and it'll be easier to do it that way. So that's my goal. But I know Charlie is waiting at home for me because she like always just sits in the, um, like where the sun is shining in through the window like that's where she just like lays during the day so i just know that she's probably sitting there waiting for me to come home and wanting to go outside but yeah like i was saying tomorrow is wednesday we have a late start day we have a plc during our specials time like every single wednesday but tomorrow morning we actually have like two PDs. One is for state testing and I think the other one, I don't know, I have to look, but basically we have pretty much no prep time tomorrow. So trying to just like, that's why we had to do our little grading party and get some things done now. So like I'm not frantically doing things in the morning. Not excited to get ready for state testing because I'm still just like, why do we even do state testing? It doesn't tell us anything. We know our kids are where they're at. We're doing our best. Um, but yeah. Thank you government for state testing because yeah, I'm just over it already. Thankfully last year I didn't have to do proctoring for the state test because I had the blend. So I actually just sent my third graders over to the other third grade rooms and the other third grade teachers just proctored which was nice and i only had my second graders for like a good chunk of the morning and it was honestly just like super peaceful and great so that was super nice but let's get out of here because i am ready to go home
it is toasty in here. At least the sun is out. Oh, this feels great. I can't wait to just like go to the park and relax. What is on my windshield? Oh, it's just pollen. There's like a ton of pollen on my windshield. All right, let's go home because this girl, oh, hang on, the lanyard. Ow, does anyone ever do that? Your lanyard gets stuck in your earring. Oh man, I need to call my friend on the way home because I don't know what we're doing for food and I'm hungry. Probably not working out today because we probably don't have time unless we like go for a quick run with Charlie before we go to the park, but we'll see. It is super hot in here. I might have to just like crack the windows a little bit, but it's kind of funny how my hair turned out. Like the front pieces are still curly, but the rest of it just kind of died. So I need to still figure out the unicorn curls. That's for sure. Also almost have picked off all of my nails not yet but we're getting there and yeah I'm hoping we have time to run but we'll see I honestly could use a break but if we don't end up running it'll still be fine Charlie's still gonna get just like outside time it's actually way hotter than I anticipated oh my gosh it's 72 degrees that's like the warmest it's been since like spring started so I'm loving it right now we're gonna drive home and I will talk to you in a little bit hi pretty girl did you miss me she always brings me a toy and always the butt scratches she says mom where were you all day I know but you're gonna knock me over bud oh my goodness do you want to go to the park yeah hi I think we should go to the park what do you think you want to see some friends yeah Ready? Oh, what was that? One more time, ready? <laughs> Alright, so we are going to change and then we're going to head to the park. Does that sound good? <laughs> I know, I know. Alright, let's go. Are you ready? Okay, we are on our way to my friend's house and we're going to leave to go to the park from there. Not sure exactly what we're doing for dinner yet, but traffic is really yucky right now and it's making me real sad. Once we get to the park and just relax, it'll be a grand old time. And it's probably gonna get cold as well too because it's currently 68 degrees outside. It's supposed to get down to like 60 degrees by like 8 p.m. So hopefully it's not too chilly, but Charlie is enjoying her time in the back seat, <laughs> letting the wind blow through her hair as one dog does. I did want to get a run in before we did this, but we didn't really have time for that sadly, but I will check back in later. <laughs> Charlie's like, where are you? You're coming. <laughs> Super nice and chill. Somebody wants to say hi. Come here. <laughs> mm, Charlie had the best time. Went to a really popular park in the area that has a really good view of the sunset. It was actually like super, super windy. So we ended up just like sitting on a bench, eating our pizza, and just like watching the sunset for a little bit and then heading back because there was like debris or just like something pollen I don't know there was a lot in the air and like it was obviously like I said it was windy so there's just like stuff in our eyes and it was not <laughs> as enjoyable as we would have liked the intentions were there for sure but it did not go 
as planned for sure but then we just ended up going back to my friend's house and having a little just hangout wine sesh on the patio and just chatting it up so that's what we ended up doing um as you saw but we are back at home i have some editing to do that i need to catch up on so i'm gonna do that we're gonna go to bed hopefully get some good sleep tonight but yeah thanks for coming along on this day in my life as a third grade teacher and i will see you in our next vlog bye